Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn about the oxidation of alcohol. So let's look on your notes on page seven. So the oxidation of alcohol is the process where we're gonna remove two hydrogen atom, one from the carbonyl carbon and one from the hydroxyl group. So what is meant by carbonyl carbon? So carbonyl carbon ni maksud dia the carbon that contain OH. Okay. And then, okay, so for example, given that this is actually our ethanol because we have two carbon here, kan? Okay, so here what we have, we have two carbon, one, two, okay. This carbon, kita tengok, is it bonded to any OH? It's not. So how about this carbon? Okay, this carbon is attached to OH. So this is what we call our carbonyl carbon. So ni I'm going to label dengan color hijau ni lah. So this is actually our carbonyl carbon. So is this C carbonyl carbon? So it's not. Okay. So first first and foremost kena tahulah which one is your carbonyl carbon. Okay again oxidation ni what we're going to remove maknanya in this process we're going to remove one hydrogen from the carbonyl carbon. Tengoklah uh, kalau ada dua again we're going to remove only one sahaja. So here contohnya I'm going to remove one hydrogen here. Well, we're going to remove two hydrogen kan. So, satu hydrogen from your carbonyl carbon. Lagi satu is actually remove one from the hydroxyl group. So, there's two hydrogen that we're going to remove. This one and this one. Okay. So, what is the product? So, let's look here. So, for the oxidation of alcohol, there's two types. Satu dengan weak oxidizing agent dengan strong oxidizing agent. But on this page, kita akan tengok dengan weak oxidizing agent. So, for the weak oxidizing agent, there's only one reagent here. Dia adalah PCC in CH2Cl2. So, kenapa semua ni rasa apa? What is this? Okay. So, PCC ni is a short form name for pyridinium chlorochromate. Okay, so this is actually the structure. Tapi kalau kita tengok structure ini macam complicated kan? So that's why we we'll use only, uh, we're only going to use our um, short form ni lah. Which is PCC. And CH2CL2 is your inner solvent lah. Okay, so again, uh, kita akan tengok. So that's why it's very important for you to know whether it's primary, secondary dengan tertiary alcohol. Sebab different uh, apa ni, different class of alcohol so different, uh, the product will be different. Okay, so let's look here. So, kita kata kita akan remove two hydrogen atom. One from the, one hydrogen daripada carbonyl carbon. So, in this case, kita tengok number yang A ni kan for the primary alcohol. So, this is actually our carbonyl carbon. I'm just going to label it here. So, which atom that we're going to remove? We're going to remove hydrogen here. And then, I'm going to remove hydrogen from my OH. Uh, from OH tu, I'm only going to remove hydrogen. Again, yang mis, uh, highlight yang merah ni ni yang mis remove kan. So, what is left is actually... Okay, again, this one, apa akan jadi? So, we're going to remove this kan? So, dia tidak ada lagi. Okay. This one, oksigen... Okay, dia akan jadi O. Okay, but then as we can see, kita punya, okay, our carbon here tak cukup baru ada 1, 2, 3. Baru ada 3 bond. Lepas tu, oxygen ni by itself sahaja. So, what we're going to do adalah, we're going to add double bond here. Ha, itu sahaja. So, this is actually our oxidation process. So, macam, how does it work? So, sebenarnya adalah mechanism dia. Tapi, yang ni misimplified kan. So, what we're going to do, we're going to remove hydrogen. Satu, from our carbonyl. Uh, carbonyl carbon. Satu, daripada our OH. So, when we remove two hydrogen ni, sebab oxidation ni, tambah alcohol, remove hydrogen kan. Okay, so, yang sini akan jadi double bond O. Okay, so maknanya macam kita nak tulis kat sini. So, kalau COH tu, carbonyl carbon, when we undergo reaction, dah akan jadi carbon double bond O. Okay. So, sekarang ni, dia adalah C double bond O dengan hydrogen. Oxidize, uh, the oxidation of alcohol by using weak oxidizing agent, we're going to form aldehyde. 
Now let's look for example B. So this is a skeletal structure of primary alcohol. So remember, each carbon is actually bonded to after that the four bond lah. So another two bond is actually adanya hydrogen. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to remove one of the hydrogen here and remove hydrogen from hydroxyl group. Okay, so what we're going to remove, okay. Senang kalau macam ni kita nampak skeletal Lagi much more um, straightforward OH2 terus sahaja tukarkan jadi double bond O But then when we look at carbon here Baru ada 3 bond So maknanya one of the bond is hydrogen So the oxidation of primary alcohol Akan form aldehyde So oxidation We're going to remove two hydrogen One from the carbonyl One from the hydroxyl Okay so kalau primary alcohol Akan form aldehyde How about secondary alcohol Okay so this is our COH Okay, so what happened here COH ni uh, We're going to remove Again, kita akan remove apa We're going to remove hydrogen from our Carbonyl carbon uh, From our hydroxyl Okay, so hydroxyl kita Kita dah remove kan Okay, so again, kita kena tengok Hydrogen tu kita akan remove from our Carbonyl carbon Carbonyl carbon ni yang tengah-tengah ni So this one that contain OH so, another one, we're going to remove hydrogen here. Okay, so what is our product? So, what is left? Okay, so we're going to remove these two hydrogen. Tidak ada. Okay, remember that from COH, bila ada got oxidation, dia jadi C double bond O. So, here I'm just going to write down C double bond O. Okay. So, kita tengok. Untuk secondary alcohol, sini adalah our C double bond O. Tapi, for the case of C double bond O ni, is bonded to our, to our carbon yang body kat kanan ni carbon. Body kat kiri ni pun carbon. So, when C double bond O bonded to carbon dengan carbon, we call it as ketone. So, for the um, apa ni? oxidation of secondary alcohol, we're going to form ketone. Okay, again. Kalau apa beza aldehyde dengan ketun So the similarities is that they have C double bond O Aldehyde pada C double bond O tu ada hydrogen Ketun C double bond O tu Body guard dia dua-dua carbon Okay So kita tengok skeletal pula Okay so for skeletal Remember what we're going to do Lagi senang we're going to change from COH to C double bond O Because we can't see any hydrogen kan Okay, so, where previously kita jadi carbon OH, kita akan tukar dia jadi C double bond O. And this is actually a ketone sebab dia bonded to two alkyl group. So, that's for oxidation of secondary alcohol. So, how about secondary of tertiary alcohol? So, what happened here? Okay, so, what we're going to remove? Okay, so, kita tengok which one is our carbonyl carbon. So, carbonyl carbon, so here is our carbon. So, what we're going to remove? We're going to remove hydrogen from our OH. Okay, tapi kalau kita tengok tertiary alcohol ni, dia dah bonded to 1, 2, 3 carbon. Tapi sedangkan for oxidation, we want to remove hydrogen from our carbonyl tu. Tengok sini kan, pada carbon yang ada, pada carbonyl tu, we going to remove hydrogen. But for this case, carbon ni does not, um, dia tidak, apa ni, it's not bonded to any hydrogen. So what happened here is that, Maksud dia, tertiary alcohol ni cannot undergo our oxidation. So, what would happen? Reaction ni will remain unchanged. Actually, if you want to write down back the reactant pun, tak ada masalah. Again, remember what we're going to remove. Okay, memanglah semua ni remove hydrogen from hydroxyl which primary, secondary, tertiary ada. Another one, we're going to remove hydrogen from the carbonyl carbon. So, Primary ni ada dua. So, pilihlah um, salah satu. Secondary uh, alcohol ni, at least ada one hydrogen attached to carbonyl. Tapi, kalau tertiary ni tidak lang, uh, there's none of your hydrogen attached to carbonyl. So, that's why lah. Dia tidak boleh undergo oxidation. So, senang kita tulis remain unchanged. Okay, for example, B here, our skeletal pun sama juga nak tulis remain unchanged. But then, how about the product? I'm going to use dash here. Sebab for the reaction of tertiary alcohol, when undergo oxidation, there's nothing happen. 
Okay, now so let's look on page 8. It's actually the oxidation reaction with strong oxidizing agent. So this is the oxidizing agent that you're familiar with, KMNO4 ataupun K2Cr2O7. And then we need H+, we I mean acidic condition and we, we also need heat. Okay, so what happened here? Again, ada yang sama, ada yang berbeza dengan weak. Tapi the, the basis of it is that we're going to remove two hydrogen, one from our OH, Another one from hydrogen attached to our carbinol. So for example here, kita ada carbinol kita kat sini. So we're going to remove hydrogen here dengan hydrogen here. Okay, so masih lagi sama. Okay, tapi yang ini mi suka buat shortcut kan. From COH tu jadi C double bond O. Okay, tak padan. What I would like to do here. Yang ini sebenarnya produk daripada example tadi. Okay, so ini alat. This is actually the product if we undergo dengan PCC. Tapi bila kita kata dia dengan strong oxidizing agent, actually produk yang lain sebenarnya yang primary alcohol je. Okay. So what actually change here? Okay. Sebenarnya uh, if uh, strong oxidizing agent, this product sebenarnya dia macam oxidize Uh, second time around Maksud dia Contohnya from here kan ha, Kita oxidize lagi So actually Kalau ni kita oxidize lagi What would happen Adalah Okay so what happened So what does it mean here So contohnya ini kalau yang Kalau oxidation yang sebelum ni What we know We remove hydrogen dengan Hydrogen here kan And then COH ni jadi C double bond O Okay, tapi sekarang ni we're going to add O to hydrogen yang attached to C double bond O pula. So, pada C double bond O ni, sini ada lagi satu hydrogen kan. So, hydrogen ni, kalau ada the strong oxidizing agent, dia ada satu step lagi. Jadi, OH. Okay, ha, main boggling lah, tak faham. Okay, so let's look for question B. So, here you have skeletal structure. Remember, we're going to remove hydrogen from your carbonyl and hydrogen from your hydroxyl to form C double bond O. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to change it to C double bond O. But when we count back here, pada carbonyl kita ni, we only have one, two, three bonds. So, maknanya ada lagi satu hydrogen. So, hydrogen ni, what will happen for the oxidation akan jadi OH. Okay, so this is your COOH. So, dia ada COOH, then it means that the product is carboxylic acid. Okay. So, that's for the primary alcohol. Which is, uh, previously, kalau weak, kita tengok aldehyde kan? Tapi kalau dia strong, dia akan undergo reaction dia akan, and akan produce carboxylic acid. So, let's look for secondary alcohol. So, sama juga, we're going to remove hydrogen from OH dengan carbinol, hydrogen from carbinol. So, uh, the carbon in the middle here is your carbinol. So, we're going to remove this this two hydrogen. So, what will happen? Sebenarnya, produk dia sama je dengan yang example A tadi. So, I'm going to copy paste it here. Okay, tapi kita tahu kalau contohnya, kalau tadi first step tadi kita kata, we're going to add oxygen to hydrogen attached to C double bond O. Tapi, for the case of keto ni, the C double bond O ni ada tak lagi any hydrogen? Okay, there's none. Sebab dia bonded to CH3 dengan CH3 kat sini. So, there's no hydrogen bonded to C double bond O. So, cannot go undergo oxidation lagi. Further oxidation. So, this is actually our product. So, product kita. So, again, the C double bond O bonded dengan carbon and carbon. Hence, the product is ketone. Uh, untuk strong oxidizing agent ni, produk yang berbeza adalah for primary alcohol saja. Secondary alcohol maintain the same. Why? Because pada C double bond O kita ni, mana ada hydrogen untuk dia tambahkan oksigen tidak ada okey so this one pun sama juga what we're going to do we're going to change coh jadi c double bond o okay and how about our tertiary alcohol okey so tertiary alcohol so this is our carbinol okey as we can see memang kita ada oh ni kan memang ada tapi pada carbinol kita there's no hydrogen attached to it so our product will be Uh, this reaction will not occur So kita akan tulis remain unchanged So I'm just going to copy paste it here From our weak oxidizing agent So that's the last of it Of oxidation Okay so now what I would like to write Is the summary for the oxidation reaction So we have learned okay, Kalau primary alcohol So when we undergo Dengan weak oxidizing agent Um, we PCCCH2Cl2 It can uh, change to aldehyde Kalau dengan strong oxidizing agent It will become carboxylic acid Okay That's for primary alcohol
for secondary alcohol we oxidizing agent ketun kalau strong pun sama juga it's ketun tapi kalau for tertiary alcohol there's no reaction the reaction remain unchanged so that's the summary